brief, guys. PPE, personal protection equipment. Everybody's got their ears and eyes on the line? Yeah. Awesome, fantastic. 46-year-old Inayad Kassam, a local Kenyan professional firearms instructor and trainer. They managed to rescue more than 600 people in what can only be described as an act of bravery and heroism. Now, in order to understand just what it took to retake the siege of Westgate, we have to go back and revisit that fateful day five years ago. And I got the first call, uh, and the caller said, shots fired, Westgate. I said, okay, what does it look like? He says, it's multiple rounds. Well, I'm not standing up and looking. I'm, we all ducked down. Please help us. He grabbed his gear and looked for volunteers. Peter Bondi Wilson was the only one willing to go with him. There was no time to get involved, uh, trying to talk to everyone, explain, because at that time we were also not 100% sure. It was just my mind telling me this is a terrorist attack, not concrete information. As you were driving closer and closer towards Westgate, obviously you got <clears throat> more and more information. Yes. Kept coming oh, the in. phone was swish. Yeah, uh, busy on the phone. Uh, Peter was handling the phones for me. He was handling the comms for me, pressing PTT so I could communicate to the rest of the guys out there. Tell them what we need to do. Yeah, we need to cordon the area off, uh, inform traffic, inform uh, Spring Valley Police Station, inform Parklands, inform Nairobi headquarters. Uh, this thing is going south. Uh, inform the hospitals. So you eventually get to Westgate, right? Yeah. You're there. <clears throat> What are you seeing? I mean, is it panic, pandemonium everywhere? What are you seeing? There was people stuck on the ramp from the entr entrance into the basement uh, parking. There was cars, there was people hiding in the cars. And because nobody knew where any of the shooters were, uh, there was no movement and nobody was trying to get out. Five years later, Peter, do you, you guys still come here? Do you guys visit this mall? I come here quite regularly. Yeah. Yeah, on and off. Yeah. Yeah. First time you came back, was it eerie for you? Was it was it kind of a first time Peter had to bring me here? <laughs> Is that right? Yeah. You couldn't you, you couldn't yeah. You didn't have the strength. No. Was it tough? Yeah. It was tough. It was tough. Peter, for you? It was the first time there was a I, I could feel the adrenaline was pumping in, in in my body as I walked through the doors and walking around. Absolutely. Mm. And now. Good. Now we frequent it more often. We have fun here. This is a nice place. I like it. Sio lazima uwe mkenya kufanya hiyo kazi tulifanya. Sisi tulikuwa na bahati, tulienda tukafanya hiyo kazi. Na sisi ni wa Kenya. This was prepared by my little one. I can imagine what she was going through seeing all this on TV and blah 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 and sat down and done this in my absence. When I got home at around 4 in the morning, I find this on the dining table. No recognition can supersede this. So, so that's my medal, and that's my certificate, and then that's my proof. <laughs>